throughout your career. It's really been about the great writing for you. And it's the funny but poignant material again that you're given to work with in going in style. I mean, that's really no different. It really is about great writing for you, isn't it? Yes and no. And why is um, that? I, well, I, I spent a long time in improvisational theater, so I know how to work with dialogue, and when it's not working, I, I, I spend a lot of time changing dialogue, and if people don't like it, they, they can hire somebody else. I don't spring new dialogue on people, but I change stuff a lot. I change my own dialogue a, a great deal. I've done that on at least half the films I've worked on. I'm, I'm very happy to comply with writing that has texture and dimension and depth. In the 30s and 40s, and even into the 50s, some of the greatest writers in the country were writing for film. That's no longer the case. You don't hear great writers writing for film. I don't know why that is, but it's no longer the case. I feel like a lot of times now you, you're getting very good architecture and very good drafting, but not a lot of D dialogue in depth. When it comes, I'm delighted to do it as written, but if it doesn't, I'm going to change it.